Steam has this amazing feature called family sharing and it allows you to share your games between two Steam accounts. Let's say you have family members that would like to play your games without having to purchase them. You can share your games to them. You can share your game library to your family members um, through Steam family sharing. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. I mentioned earlier that this is only for families, but that was not exactly what I meant. This is something you can do for two Steam accounts. It doesn't necessarily have to be for um, specifically families. You can do this between two Steam accounts, and that's what I'm going to show you. So let's say this is your friend's computer, and they've logged out of Steam, and this is their Steam sign-in page. Um, you're the person with the account, and you're going to need to sign in to your account on their computer, as I'm going to do here. I'm just going to do it um, through my Steam app. Sign in. It'll take just a second. All right. So once you're signed in, you, uh, you want to head on over to the Steam logo, top left of your screen right here. You want to click on that. You want to click on Settings. You want to click on Family. And you'll see Authorize Library Sharing on this device. You click that, turn it on, and you'll see a list of accounts that have been signed in on this computer. Right? So this would be your friend's computer, right? And he has signed into Steam before. So you'll see his account pop up here. You just want to select that. So now you have shared your games to this account. So when I close this and I sign in to the other account, which would be your friend's account, you will see that this account now, the, the friend's account now has the games from your account. And we are back. So you can see that I've signed into my friend's account. This would be the other account that I shared the games to. And I have all of them. All of them are right here, all available to install. Some games are obviously not going to be that way. Some games don't have family sharing turned on, so they won't let you do that. But you can see that most of them, I can play them and install them from this account. Something that is important to mention is that when this account is online and playing, the one I'm hovering over, when they are online and playing, your friend, which is me in this case because I'm signed in here, would not be able to play the games. It would give you an, uh, a message, an alert, that says that you have five minutes to save your gameplay, turn off the game, because the original owner is on playing other games, okay? So you won't be able to play when the other person is playing. That's how sharing works. That's one of the downsides that Steam has implemented, that people do actually have to buy games for themselves if they want that permittability, if they want to be able to play games whenever they want. You do have to buy the games, unfortunately. That's how it works. Now, let's say, for example, if this account, my, 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 the person with all the games, let's say they don't want to share their games anymore. I don't want to share my games to my friend anymore. There are ways to do that. So if I open up Steam here again, and I sign in to my main account, the one with the video games on it. So we're going to sign in here, just like so. It'll take just a second, as you can see. I am back and we are on the account with the games on it. These are all my games. So you want to click on Steam. You want to click on Settings, Family, and let's say I don't want this account to have access to my games anymore. It's as simple as just turning it off, just like that. And you can even disable it so that they can't have access. You can disable it for this computer completely so that you are no longer sharing your games on this computer. So um, this device and accounts, these are two separate things. So I'm able to enable access just like that on this account. You can do this remotely. You can do it from your computer. You can disable that. But if you want to disable library sharing on this device, you'd have to go to your friend's computer, sign in, and then properly disable it from that computer. And then it will be turned off. And then now they have no access to your games anymore. They can't play. If I log on to that other account, it will show me that I uh, all the games will have disappeared and I won't be able to play on that account. So that's been Steam library sharing. That's how you share between your friends. That's how you use the, the family feature. I hope this has been resourceful to you. I hope you guys have found my instructions quite clear. And I'll catch you guys a different time.